In the introduction, Data introduces the concept of the superior man, which he defines as a man who has a deep sense of purpose, clarity, and authenticity in his life. Data argues that modern men are often confused about their role in society and relationships, and that many of them lack a strong sense of purpose and direction. He suggests that men need to embrace their innate masculine energy, which is characterized by strength, clarity, and decisiveness, in order to become the superior men they are meant to be. Throughout the book, Data explores a range of topics related to masculinity, including sexuality, spirituality, and relationships. He encourages men to cultivate a strong sense of purpose and to embrace their sexuality in a healthy and respectful way. He also provides practical advice for navigating relationships and finding fulfillment in life. The Way of the Superior Man is a thought-provoking and insightful book that challenges traditional notions of masculinity and offers a new perspective on what it means to be a man in the modern world. Whether you are a man seeking to deepen your sense of purpose and direction, or a woman looking to understand the men in your life better, this book offers valuable insights and practical guidance for living a fulfilling life. Chapter 1 A Man's Purpose in Chapter 1 of The Way of the Superior Man, David Data discusses the difference between a man's purpose and his goals. He argues that a man's purpose is a lifelong journey that transcends any specific goal or destination. This purpose is not something that can be achieved or measured. It is a driving force that gives a man direction and meaning in life. Data emphasizes that a man's purpose is something that he must discover for himself. It cannot be given to him by society or anyone else. He must listen to his intuition and follow his heart to find his true purpose. Once a man has discovered his purpose, he must use his masculine energy to pursue it with passion and commitment. The author also stresses the importance of balancing masculine and feminine energies. A man's masculine energy provides structure and direction, while his feminine energy provides love and compassion. Data argues that a man must learn to harness both energies to achieve his purpose and live a fulfilling life. One of the key takeaways from this chapter is the importance of being present in the moment. Data encourages men to cultivate awareness and stay connected to their bodies, emotions, and the people around them. By doing so, a man can listen to his intuition and make decisions that are aligned with his purpose. In summary, Chapter 1 of The Way of the Superior Man is a call to action for men seeking to discover their purpose in life. It encourages men to listen to their intuition and follow their hearts to find their true calling. The chapter emphasizes the importance of balancing masculine and feminine energies and being present in the moment. By doing so, men can achieve a deeper level of understanding of themselves and their purpose in life. Chapter 2. Women Have a Cosmic Orgasmic Potential In Chapter 2, David Data explores the idea that women have a cosmic orgasmic potential. He argues that a woman's sexual energy is different from a man's and is capable of experiencing multiple levels of orgasm. Data contends that a woman's orgasmic potential is directly related to her emotional and spiritual connection with her partner. The author emphasizes the importance of men understanding this concept and learning to cultivate a deeper connection with their partners. Men must learn to listen to their partners, both emotionally and sexually, in order to create an environment that allows for a woman's full orgasmic potential to be realized. Data also stresses the importance of communication in sexual relationships. Men must learn to communicate with their partners about their desires and boundaries, and they must also learn to listen to their partner's needs. This communication is not only necessary for a fulfilling sexual Sexual relationship but also for the growth and development of the relationship as a whole. One of the key takeaways from this chapter is the idea that men must learn to approach sex as a spiritual practice. Sex is not just a physical act, it can be a way for couples to connect emotionally and spiritually. Men must learn to approach sex with reverence and respect, recognizing that it can be a powerful tool for personal growth and development. In summary, Chapter 2 is a call to action for men seeking to deepen their connection with their partners. The chapter emphasizes the importance of understanding a woman's cosmic orgasmic potential and learning to create an environment that allows for its realization. The author stresses the importance of communication and approaching sex as a spiritual practice. By doing so, men can cultivate a deeper level of intimacy with their partners and achieve a more fulfilling sexual relationship. Chapter 3 The Purpose of Your Life is to Open Your Heart In Chapter 3, David Data discusses the importance of opening one's heart. He argues that a man's purpose in life is to learn to love fully and completely, and that this requires him to open his heart to his partner, the world, and ultimately to the divine. Data emphasizes that opening one's heart is not an easy task. It requires men to confront their fears, vulnerabilities, and insecurities. He argues that many men hide behind their masculine energy, using it as a shield to protect themselves from emotional pain. However, this shield also prevents men from experiencing the full depth of love and intimacy. 
The author stresses the importance of cultivating a deep connection with one's partner. Men must learn to communicate honestly and authentically with their partners, which requires them to be vulnerable and open-hearted. By doing so, men can create a relationship that is based on love and mutual respect. One of the key takeaways from this chapter is the idea that men must learn to work with their energy and polarity. Data argues that men must cultivate their masculine energy, while also recognizing the importance of the feminine energy in their lives. Men must learn to balance these energies and use them to open their hearts fully. In summary, Chapter 3 is a call to action for men seeking to open their hearts and experience the full depth of love and intimacy. The chapter emphasizes the importance of working with energy and polarity, and of cultivating a deep connection with one's partner. The author stresses the need for men to be vulnerable and open-hearted, confronting their fears and insecurities to achieve a deeper level of personal growth and fulfillment. Chapter 4, Live as Love's Radiance In Chapter 4, David Data discusses the importance of living as love's radiance. He argues that men must learn to embody love and radiate it out into the world. By doing so, men can create a positive and loving environment that benefits themselves and those around them. Data emphasizes that love is not just a feeling or an emotion, but a way of being. Men must learn to cultivate a deep connection with their hearts and embrace their own love. By doing so, they can become a source of love and inspiration for others. The author also stresses the importance of being present in the moment. Men must learn to listen to their intuition and respond to the needs of the present moment. By doing so, they can create a life that is aligned with their purpose and values. One of the key takeaways from this chapter is the idea that men must learn to embrace their own vulnerability. Data argues that vulnerability is a source of strength, and that men must learn to be open and authentic with themselves and others. By doing so, men can create deep and meaningful connections that are based on love and respect. In summary, Chapter 4 is a call to action for men to live as love's radiance. The chapter emphasizes the importance of embodying love and radiating it out into the world. The author stresses the importance of being present in the moment, embracing vulnerability, and creating deep and meaningful connections with oneself and others. By doing so, men can achieve a deeper level of personal growth and fulfillment. Before we continue, we would like to inform you that we release these summaries in audio format on Spotify before we release them on YouTube in video format with subtitles. We have also created a goldmine of information which you can get exclusive access to by supporting us on Patreon. You get in-depth summaries plus scripts, usually twice the length of our YouTube content, a list of the top 20 key takeaways and exercises, summary requests, and more. Thank you for the support and don't forget to hit the like button. Chapter 5. Dissolve the Barriers to Love In Chapter 5, David Data discusses the barriers that prevent men from experiencing true love and intimacy. He argues that men must learn to dissolve these barriers in order to open their hearts fully and experience deep connections with others. Data emphasizes the importance of recognizing and embracing one's dark side. Men must confront their fears, insecurities, and negative emotions in order to understand and accept themselves fully. By doing so, they can learn to love themselves and others more deeply. The author also stresses the importance of forgiveness. Men must learn to forgive themselves and others for past mistakes and transgressions. By doing so, they can let go of the past and open themselves up to new opportunities for growth and love. One of the key takeaways from this chapter is the idea that men must learn to embrace discomfort and uncertainty. Data argues that discomfort is a necessary part of growth, and that men must be willing to push themselves outside of their comfort zones in order to achieve personal transformation. In summary, Chapter 5 is a call to action for men to dissolve the barriers that prevent them from experiencing true love and intimacy. The chapter emphasizes the importance of embracing one's dark side, forgiveness, and discomfort. By doing so, men can achieve a deeper level of self-awareness and personal growth, ultimately leading to more meaningful and fulfilling relationships. Chapter 6 – Sexuality as Spiritual Practice In Chapter 6, David Data discusses the connection between sexuality and spiritual practice. He argues that sexuality can be a powerful tool for personal growth and spiritual development and that men must learn to approach sexuality with mindfulness and awareness. Data emphasizes the importance of developing a deep connection with one's sexual energy. Men must learn to embrace and channel this energy in a way that is aligned with their purpose and values. By doing so, they can achieve a deeper level of personal growth and fulfillment. The author also stresses the importance of communication and consent in sexual relationships. Men must learn to communicate their needs and desires clearly and respectfully, 
and must be willing to listen and respond to the needs of their partners. By doing so, they can create a loving and respectful sexual relationship that benefits both partners. One of the key takeaways from this chapter is the idea that sexuality can be a spiritual practice. Data argues that by approaching sexuality with mindfulness and awareness, men can achieve a deeper level of personal growth and spiritual development. He encourages men to embrace their sexuality and use it as a tool for personal transformation. In summary, Chapter 6 is a call to action for men to approach sexuality with mindfulness and awareness. The chapter emphasizes the importance of developing a deep connection with one's sexual energy, communication and consent, and the potential for sexuality to be a spiritual practice. By doing so, men can achieve a deeper level of personal growth and fulfillment in their sexual relationships. Chapter 7 – Feminine Attractiveness in Chapter 7, David Data discusses the nature of feminine attractiveness and what it means for men. He argues that the most attractive women are those who are deeply in touch with their feminine energy, and that men must learn to embrace their own masculine energy in order to connect with this energy in women. Data emphasizes the importance of polarity in relationships, and the need for men to embrace their own masculine energy in order to create a strong polarity with their partners. He argues that the most attractive women are those who are able to fully embrace their feminine energy and that men must learn to appreciate and honor this energy in order to create a strong and fulfilling relationship. The author also discusses the importance of physical attraction in relationships. While he acknowledges that physical attraction is not the only factor in a successful relationship, he argues that it is an important component of a healthy sexual relationship. One of the key takeaways from this chapter is the idea that feminine attractiveness is closely connected to feminine energy. Data argues that men must learn to embrace their own masculine energy in order to connect with the feminine energy in women. By doing so, they can create a strong polarity in their relationships that is essential for a fulfilling sexual connection. In summary, Chapter 7 is a discussion of feminine attractiveness and the importance of embracing polarity in relationships. The chapter emphasizes the importance of embracing masculine and feminine energy and the role that physical attraction plays in relationships. By learning to connect with feminine energy and appreciating the importance of physical attraction, men can create fulfilling and successful relationships. Chapter 8. Men's and Women's Yoga of Intimacy In this chapter, David Data talks about the difference between masculine and feminine sexual essences and how this difference creates tension and attraction in intimate relationships. According to Data, the masculine essence is all about consciousness, direction, and purpose, while the feminine essence is about love, emotions, and surrender. Data says that a man must embody his masculine essence fully and not be afraid of it to satisfy his partner, who wants to surrender into the masculine's direction and consciousness. On the other hand, a woman must embody her feminine essence and not be afraid of it to satisfy her partner, who wants to love and cherish her feminine beauty and emotions. The author talks about different ways men and women can express their sexual energies to achieve a deeper connection in their relationships. Men should learn to touch their women with consciousness and purpose, while women should learn to open their hearts and surrender to their men fully. Moreover, Data highlights that sexuality is not only about physical pleasure but also a spiritual practice that can lead to the highest level of enlightenment. The author encourages couples to explore the spiritual aspect of sexuality and use it as a way to connect with their higher selves and each other. Overall, this chapter is an excellent guide for couples who want to deepen their intimacy and create a more profound connection with each other. The author's insights and practical advice can help couples better understand and embody their sexual essences, leading to a more fulfilling and joyful relationship. Conclusion, Bringing It All Together The conclusion of The Way of the Superior Man serves as a reminder to readers that the path to becoming a superior man is an ongoing process that requires constant attention and effort. The book emphasizes the importance of living a life of purpose, mastering your energy, embracing your masculine and feminine energies, and connecting with your partner on a deep level. The author emphasizes that the journey to becoming a superior man is not easy, and it requires courage, discipline, and self-awareness. It is important to maintain a balance between your inner and outer worlds, and to be aware of the impact you have on the people around you. By mastering your own energy, you can become a beacon of light and inspire those around you to do the same. In conclusion, The Way of the Superior Man is a guide for men who seek to live a life of purpose, meaning, and fulfillment. It provides valuable insights into the nature of masculinity and femininity, the importance of purpose and energy, and the art of intimacy. By following the principles outlined in the book, men can develop the qualities and traits that make them a superior man and enjoy a fulfilling life.